All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm showing you the updated 2020 guide to how to mute notifications from servers and specific channels on Discord. So let's say you're like me and you're on an absolutely boatload of different servers for a whole bunch of different reasons, but some of them you only really want to check periodically and really only a couple of channels. So what do you do if you want to cut down on all of the notifications that say, Hey, you've got unread messages somewhere on discord and you don't want to sort through all of them. The simple answer is all you have to do is find the server in question, right click it, and you can go to server mute and you can mute that server for 15 minutes, for an hour, for eight hours, for a day, or until you turn it back on to completely mute all of the basic notifications from that server. However, it should be noted that that doesn't mute things like people specifically mentioning at you with the at symbol or mentioning everyone. In order to manage that, you'd have to go down to your notification settings and then you'd have to say, okay, only show me messages directly at me or don't show me anything for notifications. And of course, suppress at everyone and at here. And if you have a specific role on the server, because people can sometimes message roles slash ranks, you can also have it block those mentions. And you can also block push notifications as well so that you don't have to worry about those. So you can turn that off. Now, if you're in a little bit of a different circumstance where you only want to block specific channels, that is also an option. You can go into a specific server. You can find the channel. Let's say you want to block the newsroom, right? Click it. And then you can go to mute channel. And similarly, you can mute this for a designated period of time or until you turn it back on. If you have muted a channel, it will then be grayed out to indicate that you're no longer receiving any messages from that channel. Likewise, you can re right click it and click unmute channel to restore it to its former glory. And then inside of these settings, let's say you've got some channels that are muted, like let's re mute the newsroom. You can right click here and tell it to hide those muted channels so that you don't see them at all. If you just don't want to deal with them, period. And then you can unhide them in a very similar way. Another little handy feature is if you want to block certain channels all at once from one window inside of your notification settings down here at the bottom, you can mute and unmute specific channels and select them in this pull down menu. So let's say I want to mute the gaming chat. Then I can say you can mute all messages, just mentions, nothing, mute the whole thing. So this will tell you what you get notifications from. So you can tell it to give you no notifications, only mentions all, or just mute the whole kit and caboodle. And you can remove those from the mute list at any time by clicking the little X icon and clicking on done. Another handy feature, if you don't want to get pestered by people as well, is you can right click any server you want. Like, let's just grab this one and you can go to privacy settings and all that's in privacy settings is you can allow or disallow people to send you messages from that server. If that server is the only thing that you two have in common. Normally the way that direct messages work is that only people either on your friends list can send you messages or that you share a server with can send you messages as well. So you can block that second one so that random people not on your friends list that you just happen to share a server with cannot send you a message any longer. So that's a little rundown on how to block notifications of different varieties, both regular messages and directed messages on Discord works. I hope you found that helpful. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. And if you do subscribe, make sure you hit that little bell icon, because it's the best way I have of letting you know when there's another great tutorial ready for you to see. So bye, everybody, and have a good one.